right, so what we are gonna do today is we are gonna test out the Makita 36 volt reciprocating saw against the Milwaukee Fuel Super Sawzall. We will be using a 12 amp hour high output battery on the Milwaukee, and we will be using two five amp hour batteries on the Makita. All right, so this is gonna be an interesting one because I, I had both these tools for a long time, and this is the first time I'm actually doing a versus video between these two, so I want to give both tools the best that I can, which is the 5 amp hour batteries for the Makita and the 12 amp hour batteries for the Milwaukee. So I want to test these out and see how these actually are. So let's go over the specs of these really quick, then see how these actually do against each other. All right, so first let's do the Makita. So this is model number XRJ06. There is actually two speed settings. There are two speed settings uh, on speed one, zero to 2300 strokes per minute, and on speed two, zero to 3000 strokes per minute. And that's pretty much it. I'll put the stroke length in right now and uh, how much this kit costs. And so, yeah, that is the Makita. It does have a metal rafter hook, and that is how you tell what speed it is. Speed one. Speed two. So yeah, this is, it is a bad mamma jamma, and I can't believe I only made one video with this, and that was the unboxing video. But like I said, we got two five amp hour batteries, so let's see how all this actually does against each other. This does have an this does have an adjustable shoe, and unfortunately, when it comes to this tool, you do need an Allen key to adjust the the depth of the shoe. You know, like uh, it is not a quick release. You actually need a key to move the shoe back and forward. If you could even move it. It does have the, the insert collet to where you just twist it. Then it locks it into place. So you could uh, just put it in without holding it in. Then it locks itself into place. So that's actually interesting. It's the same thing when you unlock it. You don't have to hold it. You just need to, to move it. Then you're good. And put a new one in. Then you're good to go. All right. For the... All right, for the Milwaukee Super Sawzall, like I said, we will be using a 12 amp hour high output battery. Battery is full. This is a bad mamma jamma. This does have an orbital feature we will be using. It is not Milwaukee's fault if the Makita does not have an orbital feature. This is the feature that will destroy other recip saws if they don't have an orbital feature, which Ryobi does. I'm the older model, the older brushless model, which I have. This is model number 2722-20. This has five speed settings. The speed settings is on the, the handle, which it just gives the speed setting for uh, speed five, which is zero to 3,000 strokes per minute, which 3,000 strokes per minute is pretty standard. That's pretty standard. So like, it's, like I said, it does have orbital, orbital feature, if the arrow is facing forward, orbital is on. If it's facing backward, it is cutting just uh, just, just straight. All right, so the, the Milwaukee does have an adjustable shoe, and you could actually adjust the length of the shoe just by having this hook right there. Then you could adjust it so you could use a different section of your blade, or if you just want your uh, the cut to go to a certain length. But yeah. But the one downfall with this recip saw is the collet. Could you need to adjust the collet to make sure you can grab it? So just like that. But as you can see, it doesn't always like adjusting the collet like that is a little difficult. But you know you gotta. There we go. You know you have to adjust it to be able to change out your blade. But. Alrighty, so we will be using brand new blades. Uh, these are six inch Milwaukee Sawzall blades uh, by metal. Sorry, metal with wood. We are gonna do the Makita first. Oh, there was metal in there already. Time. That was that. Let's do another cut. Ready? Go. We are going to ignore the nails in this one because the Makita was on speed one, so we're going to ignore that. Right now, we're going to do the we're going to do the nails with the four by 
the four by six. All right, ready? Go. Time. All right, now let's do a quick test with the orbital feature on. Remember, if you see other videos and the arrow is pointing forward, the orbital feature is on. All right, ready? Go. Time. That's crazy fast. All right, let's put two nails in this. Let's put two nails in. Bam, we got two nails. Alrighty, so we have the proper speed this time. As you see it does go, it does go through all the way. Makita will be first. Ready, go. Time. Not too shabby. We got still the nails in there. We are gonna do one with orbital feature off and then one with orbital feature on. All right, ready, go. Time, that, that is crazy. All right, let's do orbital feature on. Ready, go. Time. These things are powerful. Let's do the Makita first. I think we see it with silver nail right there, silver nail right there. Let's do another one. Ready, go. Time. One more from Milwaukee. Ready, go. That's with orbital feature on. What we have here is a two and a half inch galvanized pipe. We have brand new blades. Ready? Go. Time. Holy cow. We're gonna have the Milwaukee with cutting it straight. That cut fast. All right, so ready, go. Damn, it seemed like Milwaukee had a little uh, struggle that time. All right, so orbital feature is on. Ready, go. Oh. Time. As you can see in the beginning, that orbital feature does not help your task to be completed faster. It actually makes it slower. So I highly recommend you do not use orbital feature on metal. Obviously, most people that are watching this video know that, but yeah, I don't recommend it. All right, so as you guys can see, when it comes to these saws, I, uh, I don't know what the test results are until I edit the video, but I did have a hard time uh, judging on who was actually faster without looking at the actual time. And so, yeah, both of them are good. Obviously, one takes two batteries and the other one takes one. Actually, I'm curious, does it require two batteries? Yes, it does. It requires two batteries to operate. So it, it does. All right, so they both have LEDs right uh, at the collet. And so, yeah, so like it's a reciprocating saw. Both of them do, both of them will do the job. Now, Makita did make a 40 volt line. Uh, I can't wait to do versus videos against that, uh, with that against the 36 volt line. And so, yeah, so it's good. The Milwaukee is a beast. I do not know what the test results are, but I can't wait to find out. And so, yeah, both of these are good reciprocating saws. Now, more videos coming up, you guys. And just so you guys know, I am filming videos for TikTok as well. So I, I wanna have an arsenal of TikTok videos. I, I'm gonna be in here a lot, doing a lot of stuff, and it's, it, it's good. 
and it's good. I got to catch up on the MCT two minute re reviews. So yeah, so that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos, and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.